from the free throw, throw, throw. We gon' make it hit and hit a night, ayy. Go off the top, baby, like you don't ride, ayy. Whip out that camera like I'm finna die, ayy. Tell Nilly hit record and let it rock. I used to wear them hand me downs, and I used to stay in the granny house. Never let that get me down, never let that get me down. I treat these niggas like broke ankles. They can't stand me now. I can feel it coming, I can feel it coming. And I just want to know what made you want to start this local celebrity basketball game? Oh man, just giving back to the city. Yo, it's Blazo, not Blazo. And I'm a rock star. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is a uh, rock star with your host, Jaleel West. This is the first episode. And I have a very, very special guest with me, rapper Blazo. Thanks for coming, bro. No doubt. Being the first, the first person on this, so. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad to get this done. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while. So I'm excited about this. So thank you. Uh, so let's just say, Blazo, who is Blazo? What made you start rapping? Uh, just being inspired by my uncles and you know my surrounding area. Like the people that I could touch that I actually seen doing it. It was cool like to see people on TV, but like to actually make me want to do it, like mm -hmm. more so my people, like my uncles, like I say, local artists from that era, you know what I'm saying, when I was coming up. Mm -hmm. So who's like, who's those uh, local artists that you looked up to? Uh, my, my uncles, uh, they had a group called Club Mecca back in the day, um, big Wisconsin group. They did a lot of, a lot of things, a lot of, they had the Source Magazine, and Shadow, um, then on down to Bodega, that's my other uncle. You know what I'm saying? He had major success, uh, national, international. Um, then as far as like other artists, like local artists, like um, Shorty Fall, uh, Poots, um, coming up, Paradise, Gangsta Hodge. You know what I'm saying? These is local artists from where we from, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So that's really the people that I've seen that made me want to really do it. Like, okay, they're doing it, I can do it too. Yeah, so you've been doing this for a long time. Like, when did you get started? I probably wrote my first rap probably like at 11. I had a little group we formed with me and my cousins. It was called Blackout. It was like four of us, and uh, no, three of us. You know what I'm saying? We had a talent show, and uh, we, we ended it. It was a high school talent mm -hmm. show, and we ended it, you know? So what was y'all talking about at 11? It was trash, bro. <laughs> do you even remember what y'all were talking about? I do, I do, but I don't. It didn't even make sense, though. I'm gonna say that much. I ain't even gonna play myself on the camera. So like you ain't gonna say what it was? <laughs> nah, but it was trash. But it was fun, though. That's mm -hmm. what I say. It was fun. <laughs> so like right now, like how long you been doing this? Like when you put out your like first song, like when you really really start taking it serious? Oh shit. Uh, as far as like trying to make it something, you know? Yeah, I mean? yeah. Like, uh, I probably say like. When I got when I got to college, like I got kicked off the basketball team my senior year uh, um, of college. Like I got kicked off like damn not, like a week before senior night, the basketball game. I was sick, bro. I'm like, what I'm gonna do? Like, what you like, do? Like I was man, I was I started smoking heavy, everything. I was sick because I'm like, man, I had my my thing was I was yeah. going to the to, uh -huh. to the league yeah, overseas yeah, 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 or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What would you do to get kicked off the team though? It was, I, man, it was dumb. I, basically, we had a, uh, it was ongoing things that happened, and um, one thing led to another. We had a party. We actually, we had a party the night before, and um, we went the next day to pick up our bread, like the money from the promoter, from the owner of the club, and it was after curfew. We wasn't going to party, though. We was just mm -hmm. going, and uh, the coach, one of the staff members seen it, told the coach, and we lost the, the game the next day, so he think we was yeah. out kicking it. Yeah. It really wasn't done. It was just like, that was like the last straw for him, but really we wasn't like no bad kids or nothing. It was just like. Mm -hmm. Just we, being college students, yeah, partying, yeah. kicking it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and he was a new coach. He was trying to prove a point. It was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. So like, what keeps you going now since you've been doing this for a long time? <sighs> just the just passion, the passion, the love for it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and 
one thing I said I had I, I gave up on basketball after, and that was like my first love. Like that was what I was really gonna do was yeah. hoop. So after I let that go, I'm like I only see me getting you know what I'm saying rich off of basketball or rap. So because mm-hmm. I had a following with the rap, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But it's like all right, if I gave this up, I can't get this up. Yeah, that, that's really where it's at. Really, like as far as doing the music, just the passion. And, I got a lot of people who depend on me too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm so. Yeah, because your basketball, you take that seriously. You got your local uh, celebrity basketball game that you do every year. Yeah. You had the uh, wavy file out there for that. Yeah, 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 sir. That Absolutely. was good. What made you want to do that? Uh, it, it just started out really like um, just something just to push the culture forward, just like just bringing everybody mm-hmm. together, you know what I'm saying? Like, at first it started with just a game with like, my homies I used to hoop with, like some was like big superstars in high school, some was big college stars, some played overseas, you know what I'm saying? It started like that. And then it's, and it started at the Millennium Center outside, it was barbecue free for everybody, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then like years ago, the next year, so everybody's like, man, we should keep going, keep it going. And um, it just spiraled out to a whole weekend. Really? Yeah. Cause that's a co drive too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, who you just want to get back to your neighborhood? Pretty much, man. Just like without the little bit, I, you know, I'd have made a lot of money around this area. So mm-hmm. the most I could do is give a little bit at least to the youth. You know what I'm saying? The city do come support me. Yeah. yeah. Like, how did you feel about uh, Nipsey passing? Did that affect you in any way? Man, that was major. I think like the whole world. It shocked. It shocked me how many people like really was hurt by yeah. this, you know what I mean? The whole Staples Center was full. Man, crazy, that's that's like, like I say, he like the Tupac of, uh, of this generation. Like, mm-hmm. I couldn't feel Pac because I yeah. was too young, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So him, a lot of people said that. Yeah, he actually changed like my mind frame. Like we were spending a lot of reckless money like around 2014, six to mm-hmm. 17. And that's really when I, like I had been listening to him, but I didn't really listen, listen to him until like 2007, early 2017. And mm-hmm. I was, I'm like, man, he he really saying some shit that yeah. I need to hear, you feel me? See, I wasn't like a big Nipsey fan, but I, like, I do know what he was doing. But I didn't think his impact was like that, though. Man. I just didn't know. It just, it just on, on the level of, he, we actually see you can see it on him, like he's solid. You can see like his yeah. life real. He's yeah. not trying to portray no, you know, image. Like it's all real and it's all pure. Like mm-hmm. that's that's what I think. That's what really attracted me to him. Then the music. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he was yeah, he was really big. He was big. Like you got any new music coming out or anything like that? Oh yeah, I got a lot of a lot like of a whole project. Projects. Projects. Ready. Yeah. Because you dropped Coolio. Yeah. And then in you. Yeah. Those was two, two good songs. I like both of those. And you was Videos a throwaway. And, and you was a throwaway? Yeah, it was just to take up some time. But Coolio, mm-hmm. that's one of the songs on the EP. But the, the EP really the first thing we're going to drop since I just spilled it. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know? So when so you know when you dropping it? You got a date? Nah, I don't. I don't have a date, but we pushing for, um, we pushing for like late May. Late May. Well, let's say June. I mean, let's June? Say June? Let's say June. Early June. You should drop it earlier because I want to do it at the same time as I drop this. Yeah. When is that? If you drop the project soon, I'll drop this soon. Yeah. I'm going to try to drop the trailer for it, like, ASAP, but I don't want to lose momentum, you know? We, you know, it's it's ready. It's already whipped and loaded. So, uh-huh. yeah. so you just send back way in. Yeah, pretty much. Some fire on that too. Some fire. How many songs gonna be on there? The EP probably like six. Six. Yeah, like six. Why only six though? That be killing me because y'all put out y'all put out a good project, but it be so short. Man, it's so much music that come out right now. You feel me? Like you could, man, you put out music and it be like hits that will get looked over because there's so mm-hmm. much music coming out. Like, yeah. Ten songs though. Yeah, you, nah. You gotta do the ten. It, it, I want to, but you know, just strategically thinking like that ain't right now. Yeah, not right now. But I got, I got mm-hmm. full projects. Like this next project gonna be like way different from what you normally get from me. But it's just mm-hmm. gonna be more melodic, should I say? Yeah. Yeah. More melodic. 
more melodic. So it's like more like singing, right? A little bit. It's not singing, but it's up that album. Yeah. It's up that album. Not like trying to rap with the yeah super yeah, lyrics nah. and all that stuff. It's just yeah. more like a vibe or. But it's gonna be some like all my music. If you listen to the music, like it's real mm-hmm. content, it's like real life. I just try to put it in a a form to where it's catchy and everybody can get it. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's gonna be that, but it's gonna be a lot more deep content on there than I usually put out. We're talking about more serious topics. Yeah, like just where my head at, where my mind at right now. Mm-hmm. Um, things that happened during my little year hiatus. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like pretty much that, like friendships. Yeah. Yeah. Was that year high is? That was in what, like 2017, 18? 18, 18, like back to back situations that didn't pan out. Yeah. Led me to sit back. I wasn't like I wasn't mm-hmm. working. It was yeah. just I couldn't put out no music because I was going from situation to situation. But we out of that and we moving forward. Yeah, that's why I said, uh, uh, Blazo, he still make music. <laughs> <laughs> and you put me in a song. I was like, man. But like you said, if it's. If, honestly, if you're not in people's face, they really don't think about it. Yeah. Because, like, you just put something out at 17, but it's like, if you're not right there in my face showing me, it's like, oh, you just, yeah. it, like you said, so much music coming out. So, so you just tend to forget about people. Facts. So. Yeah. So I know one time on Facebook you had said the industry is not where everybody think it is. Yeah. And that was your situation? Just. A, yeah, I had a taste of the industry. You feel me? Like. I done been around it for a long time because, like I said, my uncle was in it when I was young. Mm-hmm. I learned almost everything from watching him go through it, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I done had that taste, like, man, these people was chew you up and spit you out, like, for real. Like, they build you up to spit you out. And, like, man, it really ain't no love. Like, if you ain't willing to get in there and, and do what they want to do, unless mm-hmm. you already got, like, a high demand, like, and yeah. they have to, like, don't to any artist, just mm-hmm. don't sign no deal, you feel me? Like, cause they gonna make you do mm-hmm. what they want you to do because at the end of the day, you gotta make them their money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so you actually have like a real deal? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. we had, we had, I had two nice situations. Um, One, I don't even wanna speak on that. I don't wanna put nobody in there yeah, like yeah. that. But I had two situations. Uh, the last one was pretty major. Um. I don't know, just conflict answers, not seeing eye to eye on certain things. Um, and yeah, that just, mm-hmm. you know, everybody, it ain't for everybody, you feel me? Yeah. Like, it just ain't for everybody. If you stand for certain things, like, you just ain't gonna do that. When you, so when you, like, go through your situations like that, and you've been doing this for a while, but then you see people like, uh, like a blue face or... I was listening to a podcast today, they was talking about, like, Lil Nas X, and they just blow up instantly. That make you like upset or bitter or anything? Nah, you know, I just, I mean, that's cool. I, I can, man, congrats, man, if it worked like that for you. But the outcome of that be bad a lot of times if you really do your research. Yeah, like, they don't. Them overnight, that yeah, yeah, they be in and out. Like I kind of like. That's why I like what I'm doing and I like my core base, like because they actually mm-hmm. watching me, like go from a kid to an adult. You know, watch me go from. My lowest to my highest to my lowest to my highest, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get it back. Like, mm-hmm. I like my, my, my base to build with me, grow with me. So, I ain't really against it. That's what's up, though, for whoever blow overnight. But, yeah. Me, I like, I like to, I like to see the, the struggle. I like for the people to see the struggle. And then, you know what I'm saying? Because it's pure and it's authentic. Yeah, I think they said Lil Nas X. That was like his first song, that old time road. You heard that? I haven't, but. Oh, you don't know who that is? I, I know who it is, uh, but I haven't took time to listen to the song. Like, I heard a snippet of it. I mean, it's good. It's slap, but. I like it because it's, I like I like the fact that it's country. We, we going in their lane now. We, we going to take some of their money, yeah, too. Yeah, they ain't let them be on Billboard, though. They, they took them off? Not the country charts. Not the actual Billboard. Like, he number one on Billboard, I guess. But the actual country chart, they took him off of that. Well, we need to take some motherfuckers off of the... Uh, That's the same thing I said. We need to take some people <laughs> off the hip-hop time. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, we let them people in. Shit. It don't even matter what yeah. color. They go ahead and make a song, oh, number one. But when we try to cross over, it don't work like that. Yeah, man. We just got to keep pushing forward until we get there. Yeah, because you got a tour coming up soon, right? Yeah. Hey, you know, you know, I just actually, we just got booked for another city today. So how many shows is that gonna be? Uh, right now it's probably gonna be short. It's probably gonna be like five, six cities. Mm-hmm. Midwest right now. Um, we gonna go south, like 
later. We pushing, actually, right now we pushing uh, my single Barely Get Sleep. Like, it came out down here a little while ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say. Out, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's 2017 for real. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, like if your record don't spread, like, far, like, and then one like, one day it can actually just pop up in, in your news feed mm -hmm. in Atlanta somewhere. And, yeah. And that's really literally what's going on right now. Like, the song got played one time and now it's starting to get spent. Like, so, got to revisit it somewhere where they ain't heard it. So, you got all the dates and everything picked up? Uh, pretty much. I think it start uh, June 23rd in Madison, mm -hmm. Wisconsin. Nothing at Rockford? Uh... As a right now, no, mm -hmm. not right now. I mean, I guess we could travel to Madison. It's right down the street. It's I got something far. special for Madison. I mean, uh, for Rockford though. I got something special like for my core fans. Like we gonna do some real, real epic. Like my documentary gonna come out. We gonna premiere the documentary. Um, we gonna play the. We gonna stream the project the same day. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be just for my core. For my core though, like it ain't gonna be open to the public. Uh, what about that other thing you told me about? You want to say that? What? The what other, the, uh, the, sh the show, the thing you say is going to have me on. Oh, oh yeah, we, we, gonna, we, we, still, we still in the works with that, but that's coming, <laughs> that's coming for sure, though. Uh oh. That's coming for sure. Yeah, you said you were going to do an announcement like two weeks ago. I know, man. There's just so many, you know, we want to make it right. We don't want mm -hmm. to go on that because, you know, that, that'll be ugly if, if we don't do it right, especially in rock. <laughs> It's the trenches. Yeah. So that Facebook, they had a conversation about legends and goats and all of that. Right. And uh, I know you don't, you, you don't want to talk about that. Man, we, we can talk about it. <laughs> People are throwing you in there and calling you a goat and a ride for legend. Mm. You yeah. feel that way too, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Did you like that conversation that everybody was having? I ain't really, I mean, it, it was a laugh for me. What? Cause I seen this this conversation comes up every every two to three years, you feel me? It come yeah. up, I'm telling you literally, every two to three years it come up. I, I, don't, I don't know, maybe cause I wasn't paying attention then. I don't remember, this is my first time he, uh, seeing people talk about it. Right. And I was a part of the conversation too and people didn't like that. But I mean, I liked it. They say it got people worked up. People yeah, want to yeah. work more. It was good for the same. Yeah. It was good for the same. A lot of good music coming out of the city right now. Yeah, for real. This is probably the, the the best music that was that's coming out of the city since I've been around. Like for real. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree with that. It's a it's a lot going on, but it's it's a lot of good music. A lot of people they taking it seriously. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy about that. Oh, so I, did, I did have another question for you, though, because I had a situation that happened to me. So, what would you do if you had, say somebody was like a long-time fan of yours, right. and you, you know that, and then they tell you one song, they didn't like it, or maybe they, oh, Blaze, I don't like your, your sound right now. How would you, how would you react to that? Uh, you gotta. I mean, if, if it's from a real core fan, yeah, like a I gotta real respect, fan. I gotta, I gotta respect and honor, and then my my fan has to also respect and honor that I gotta evolve. Mm -hmm, yeah. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, as an artist, like for the fan, it's like the, the fan wants you to be mm -hmm. with that yeah. right there. Stay here. Don't switch it. This is what I want from you. But as an artist, it's like okay, I'm gonna give you that. But I gotta elevate because yeah. if I stay here, like it's just. It'll never be, it'll never be, like, what, what, what are you going to expect, you know what I mean? It's not like the person, it's, it's not like the person said, oh, I don't like everything you're doing right now. They just say, it's a few things I don't like. I don't like this, but I'm fucking with this. And you still, I mean, that person still got offended. You can't take it. I mean, I, don't, I can't speak for nobody yeah. else but me. Like, my, I got, I got personal fans of mine that's homies of mine mm -hmm. that, that tell me, like, bro, like, I like this. Uh, with that, mm -hmm. like I, I take and I and I and I and I and I take it. I don't take it to heart in a negative way. I take it like okay, maybe this ain't think of T. Yeah. But you try it out with everybody. It's just yeah. if one person don't like it, that doesn't mean okay. They that's just not their cup of tea. You yeah. know what I'm saying? One person don't like a hundred other people don't like it. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's so that, all. that happened to me 
where I told someone I don't like their music. Do you remember that? Uh-uh, I don't. I don't I no, I, I'm just saying it's something that happened on Facebook, so that's why I was wondering if you seen that or not. Nah. Basically, tell somebody I don't like their song, and I did it on Facebook for everybody to see. So that probably was a, more of a bigger problem than it being like in the messages or something like that, but it happened. And then I think I did it again, too. I think I did it like twice. Uh, but. I mean. It depends on how the, uh-huh. you and that artist relationship is. If you if it's just like you you a fan of his and you tell him that, or your homie and you telling him that, I feel like if a fan telling you, telling you that, you gotta, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's just not. Would you be sending them like evil messages though, calling them dick riders or all that type of stuff. It ain't that serious for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a lot of other real shit going on in life. So. Yeah, if that happened to me, I can show you out the way. I don't want to say who it is right now, but yeah. it's, it's somebody big, and uh, I guess they didn't like my criticism that I gave them. So, yeah, he just came at me crazy. It's crazy. But yeah, I can show you. I can show you that later. So you got anything else coming up besides a project? I know you did the Super Jam last year, which was a success. I liked it. You gonna do another one this year? Yeah, Super Jam. That's the annual event. That's like that's like gonna be every year. That's mm-hmm. gonna be like the event everybody comes to, look forward to. Um, all we gonna bring out the, the top artists at the time. You know what I'm saying? That and I ain't even necessarily that deserved. Like I hate when, when like when we put out events like this and people like, oh they deserve. No, we putting people on the bill who actually working hard, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, who actually can draw a crowd. Like, we give chances, everybody needs a chance, you know what I'm saying, but at the same time, when promoters are booking these artists, they ain't looking at just because you hot, yeah. you got a hot flow, like, it's a million people with a hot flow, you feel me? We looking for people who actually building their brand and can bring people in here who actually taking their talent and trying to go elsewhere with it, you know what I'm saying, because at the end of the day, after after so long, we're going to have a and flow through here, like, mm-hmm. man, this concert we sold out the last one yeah so it's expected to sell out this mm-hmm. year too bigger venue bigger artists so as you say uh you got some you got somebody come here right yeah we're gonna we're gonna spill the beans soon we're gonna spill the beans i thought soon. you already said it though uh-uh i ain't put it out there that was for um we got another event coming up um blaze on friends with q money oh yeah i gotta go to that one because q money yeah hard bro i fuck with q money so he gonna be coming to rockford yeah I'm trying to work it all out right mm-hmm. now. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, so you got charity events and promote parties, rap. We, we trying to bring it all. We trying to bring charity events really this year. A lot, a lot of bigger charity events. Mm-hmm. A lot bigger. You know what I mean? Like more stuff. Like as far as like that kids can go do with their family, mm-hmm. not just for the kids. Like yeah. family events and hope drives and. Food drives, etc. You know what I mean? Try to bring a little bit more back. Honestly, it Nipsey sparked a lot of a lot of that in a lot of us. So yeah, that's a good thing though. Yeah, I would say his message was was great, and like I said, I feel like a lot of people now they just like, all right, let's let's keep that going. I wish they would try to stop the violence, but I don't know if that's possible. Man, it's. It steps, it steps, man, and, and one step is I know that 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 led me from doing a lot of, you know, what I mean, going down the wrong path like that is 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 like um, music, you know, mm-hmm. what I mean, outlets with for music, you know, yeah. stuff to do, basketball programs, outlets for music, um, computer classes, after school programs, stuff like that. Like I think for certain areas that's needed, you know, what I mean, like. I actually got a thing I want to put together soon, like where we go take kids through a class mm-hmm. um, of, of the music industry and, and build them up to do they set up set them up for like a concert. It's a lot of things we want to do, like just mm-hmm. teach them stuff that can make them self sufficient if they're gonna do music. Cause you know everybody want to be a rapper, everybody want to be a singer, but yeah. at the end of the day, it's a business and you gotta make make it profitable. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to do it for the love of it, but if you're going to really put your time and effort into it, you need to know and understand the business. You need to understand that it's going to take money to make money. You yeah. know what I mean? And building your brand, networking, spreading your name around. And that's what really, if when we do the little classic, that's really what we want to give off. 
Push kids. That sounds good. Is there anything else you want people to know about you? Man, just, just tap into the music. Everything you need to know pretty much in my projects. My two projects, Tables Always Turn and um, Sleepless Nights. Mm -hmm. Pretty much give you a real base and you can find them on Spotify, Apple Music. Hey. You know, uh, SoundCloud, the title, or anything like that? SoundCloud, too. Yep. YouTube, SoundCloud, all of that. YouTube, Blazo mm -hmm. A15, YouTube. Yeah. Go subscribe. So let them know where they can follow you at so they can get you up out of here. Man. Uh, everything, I am Blazo underscore NLA1. That's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, what else? Uh, YouTube, Blazo815. Um, yeah, you can find me like that. Google me. I say, can we get a sneak peek of some uh, new music before you go? Some stuff that nobody else heard? Yeah, I, I got some. I got some we can play. Oh, I let us know. Hey, hey, me. Back to the paper, can't miss that. No. Boy, still late, right. like a six pack. Back. More than money back, right. but it don't rack. No. It's a big fat, big fat, big fat. Yeah. Being broke was a joke, I ain't get that. My ex tell you that, then she big man. Oh, don't want it back if I hit that. No. If they want my spot, better get flat. Eddie can, Eddie can. I got them all in their heart beats. It's all they can tell, like they all be. Had to wait their ass out like a car. Sleep on that high school geek. Sleep on them guys who weak. Sleep on that nigga who creep. Hey, sleep quit, on that nigga you freak. Or sleep on your pillow, not me. No. Sleep on me, shit, if you wanna. Everything I got, I earned this shit. Oh, no, oh, no. They be mad about the clout, man, I can't make this shit up Why? Pillow talking to these females that just make them want us Damn. Trying to build a band of blues, I can't be faking the fun nah. Can't be waking me up, and ain't no waking me up Cause I'm up when the first church She like, oh you work, work Being broke, I know how that feels Opinions never pay my bills So my camera, Raya, Armani, and Malachi Make sure that y'all straight before it's daddy time. That's that daddy grind. As long as they good, I ain't gotta shine. Better know I'ma make it home to mine. Don't deserve it. Don't deserve it. Do me dirty. Do me dirty. They gon' need a team full of garbage. So tell them I ain't worried. I ain't worried. I ain't worried. I worried. They say the bird get the worm if you a bird. But I don't think they hurt. Watching Rockstar by uh, Jaleel West. Thank you to my guest, Blazer. Uh, not for real, for real. Uh, this shit like it's fun, for real, man. Yeah. 